Alan Abraham, A-L-A-N-A-B-R-A-H-A-M. So tell me why you're here this morning. Well, I'm here to give support to a very viable Democratic candidate for the lieutenant governorship. And uh, my vote for her is a very positive vote because she has great qualities, great, great leadership qualities, and I uh, go along with her values and not her opponent's values. Uh, having a Dan Patrick come, up, come on board scares me to death. I do not like social conservatism, and that's what Dan Patrick is all about. You mentioned social conservatism. Uh, so what, what do you, <laughs> what has your experience been in supporting a Democratic candidate in a district that is viewed to be very socially conservative? Uh, I get practically nowhere <laughs> with my values in this district, however, I have good relations with Poor Price and with John Smithy and with Kel Seliger. So, and I covet that and work to be upfront and very public in my relations with them. And I'm a frustrated um, social liberal and do not like the trends that I see in the state of Texas, such as voter, I voter ID, which is just another form of a pull tax to try to suppress the vote. It really doesn't solve a problem. Uh, I want women's choice. I want our textbooks to reflect all of the history of the US. It's good and it's bad. Okay. What more can I say? In this area and across the country, okay, the, 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 the people who have been voting for a long time are generally seen to be more socially conservative and more conservative in, in the way that they vote uh, than they're consistent at the polls. And so uh, what would you say to your peers, uh, people who are, who are accustomed to supporting Republican candidates? And, and they're very likely going to go out and support them now. What would you say to them uh, to, to make your own case to your peers? Well, I don't know how to make a case because it's been made over and over again. So I'm gonna sound repetitious. I would like to see all voters get off their ideological pinnacles and, you, and engage their brains and look at policy as policy and dissect and interpret and understand the as much as possible the implications of the policies they vote for. And I don't know how to break the isolation, isolation and insulation of living in the panhandle of Texas. We're a herd instinct kind of people and it's just far easier and more popular, it's just far easier to go along with the crowd and we know where the herd is right now. We need some outstanding people to speak up as much as they can and uh, fight the good fight.